McLaren track day inspection. This is it. This is the official sheet from McLaren with a checklist what you go through in checking your McLaren before it goes on track. First off, lights. Seems obvious, but some track days do demand that your lights work, um, some not. Um, just checking lights are functioning uh, and also indicators if some track days do require uh, overtaking by indication only. Next up is towing eye. Uh, just pop out the front cover from the bumper. This is a 600-675LT. Um, literally unscrew it, screw it in and make sure it's nice and tight, uh, making sure it's going to be a recovery off the track if you do have problems. Next up is tyre pressures. Now a lot is said about tyre pressures. Generally speaking, we will drop a tyre pressure down between 6 and 12 psi during the course of a day if it's a hot day. But our advice is always to start off on standard tyre pressures and drop accordingly as you go. You will call cars alarms on the dash, ignore them, obviously when they go, when they raise up in temperature on track, uh, they will go up again. Just remember to put them back up again when you finish the track day. But generally go down during the day and then put up towards the end of the day to make sure you're safe going home. Next is all level. This is crucial, absolutely crucial, because not many people do it very rough. This on a 675LT shows you the procedure to go through. It's on the dash, go through to your settings, left foot on the brake, right foot on the accelerator, floor it, and then it will measure the, the, the oil level on a countdown. Up to two minutes on a 720, and on the sports series to show on a 600LT, it's about 45 seconds. Again, measuring how much is there in terms of process under the dash. Crucial to do this and keep doing it during the course of the day. Uh, we have seen cars do go through small on track days, but it's something to be very, very careful of. Um, low oil can cause fairly significant damage to the engines of these cars. It's something to be very, very wary of. We check every car that comes in and throughout the day we'll carry on checking it. If you do need oil, obviously you top it up. Um, obviously that means on the 6 and 5 LT, just obviously pop it up and there's an oil cap there. We only put small amounts in each time. No more than sort of 100 to 250 milliliters, so a quarter of a liter at a time, and then check again. It's very easy to overfill these cars, so we are very careful just topping out very small amounts each time. We use Mobile One Motorsport oil, same specification that McLaren use, obviously. We wouldn't do any different. Once it's all done, pop the clip back on, make sure it's tight, and obviously drop the lid back down. Again on a 600 LT, <coughs> same thing. Top up the oil, the right pain neck on a 600 with a central exit with the exhaust. Just be careful not pour oil on the exhaust. Not a good thing to do. Again, top it up. After that, onto the chassis. Now, you can pick up uh, any McLaren from the centre of the chassis, where the chassis rails meet underneath the car. There'll be like a T, that's a little green and blue sticker. It means you can pick up the entire car on one side in the most safest spot. I did use axle stands if you can, in this case all we're doing is checking the tyres and wheels, but generally speaking all you will need is a trolley jack if you have that with you. Pick up the car from the side, doesn't matter door open or shut, but open makes life easier. And then what we're doing now is checking around both the front and rear wheels. Mainly looking for play in the hub, we're looking for play in terms of what's in terms of the surface, make sure the wheel is all tight, which we'll do a second. And then just making sure it's all straight, no issues. Getting inside there, what we're looking for is any evidence of suspension leaks common some of these cars have suspension leak from the lifting system just making sure there's no leaks no issues no braid lines issues and also checking on the wheel liners they aren't dragging or any under tray bolts that are loose around there as well uh, just making sure everything's nice and clear there's no issues inside <coughs> on the rear it's slightly more important mainly because the rear wheel arch liner is very prone to falling down um, because it's basically a bit of cardboard so certainly bearing in mind, um, it's worthwhile checking in terms of making sure that that is um, uh, nice and checked inside and no, no falling down issues. Um, and checking, make sure all the under tray bolts are there. That's a common one. We always use the under tray bolts falling out the back of these cars. So those are the ones that tend to turn loose most of the time. So check those under there, just make sure everything's nice and tight, nothing falling off behind you. Brakes. In this example, we're looking at CCBs. Um, the only real way to measure is properly is to weigh them, which is something practical at a track day. So a visual inspection is all that's needed. Run your finger over the disc, not too heavily because it's carbon fiber. It should be relatively smooth to touch. If it's really, really roughed up, you may have some issues, but check both sides. And again, check the wear on the pads. There should be a decent amount there. Tires, in this case, not much left. Um, also, some of the track day tires are come with, just make sure the tread is there, make sure there's no nails or anything in the treads itself. Um, fairly easy inspection to have. Lastly, obviously put your uh, torque wheels up, 130 newton meters to each one, uh, and check them throughout the day. It's quite crucial to make sure you check them because they will sometimes come loose in the course of the day, especially like to ride the curbs. Um, something to bear in mind as a measuring. 
Um, there are other little checks we do as well, checking windscreen wipers, checking um, other, other switches and doors and mirrors, that kind of stuff that are on the list from McLaren. Um, if needed on this video, by the way, down in it will be a link to the actual track day sheet. You can download it. And therefore you have a little tick off sheet for you doing your own track day stuff. But hopefully this is useful enough for you to take your McLaren on track and just go through these minor checks, make sure you're safe for a day. Okay, cheers.